And hello, everybody. Welcome to WD Carousel of Podcast. My name's Crystal. And I'm Ian. And we are coming to you about Patreon. Patreon is a program that we are part of that we are looking to get sponsorship from you guys. And so here's a little bit about what we offer. Yeah, so we are going to offer just one level for Patreon, and it is you will become a pass holder, and that gives you access to a couple of things. The first thing you get is early bird access to all of our episodes, so as soon as I get an episode done, um, as soon as we shoot it and I upload it, you will have access to it at that very moment, uh, and, and it'll be delivered to you through the Patreon app, or you can use our other new feature, which is the new CoPass app, uh, which will be sent to you how to get access to that once you sign up. And it will give you um, an index of all of our episodes going way back, Mm -hmm. searchable, everything is there. Mm -hmm. And you get uh, a place to add new topics to to converse with us about that we can potentially go over in the future. Uh, and stuff like that, and so it's we're really excited about it as a as a concept. Yeah, yeah. you can you can favorite your favorite episodes, yeah. so you can listen yeah. to, or for the ones that you're planning on going to Disney, go ahead and save those. That way, you know what to do when yeah. you're getting there. But yeah. this is all for just five dollars, and five dollars it gives you the monthly, I'm gonna say, pass holder yeah. <laughs> level. Yeah. And so just check it out. We're looking forward to giving you this information and this early content. Yeah. All right, now with the show. Thanks, everybody. There's a great big And hello, everybody. Welcome to WD Carousel of Podcast. My name's Crystal. And I'm Ian. And today we are going to discuss a little bit of D23 Expo. Yes. For those of you who are not as big of Disney nerds as us, that is essentially the biannual convention that Disney has, like Comic-Con, where they talk about the new and exciting stuff coming out to Disney. Yeah, I just chewed on ice. (laughs) I love, I waited for you to take a sip, (laughs) and you decided to add ice to it. So, whose fault is that? You know, it was one of those things where I I made the mistake as it happened. I'm like, I'm going to have to talk in a minute. Yes, you are. Yeah, so we, (laughs) back to D23. Uh, we decided that we there's they cover a lot of stuff. A at lot D23. of stuff. It's, it's a lot of different intense. topics. And yes, it's a three day, sometimes four day, depending on if you're going for a media pass event where there are panel shows, uh, exhibits, sponsors, famous people. Yes, buy stuff just everywhere, everywhere. everything, all the stuff, all the things. Yeah, but they there were a couple of things that were really big that we thought that would be important to cover and this episode is kind of covering a couple of digital things that they kind of brought to the table uh this time around something that would apply a little bit more to the general populace but if you're not as diehard disney nerds where you're following all the live broadcasts of the show then this is the condensed <laughs> version where you'll actually yeah. get benefit from it yep trying trying to go quick and, and get lots of info in so So the first thing that we're going to cover today is Disney Plus. And if you are not aware, Disney's coming out with her new streaming service as of November. And it is going to be Disney owned, Disney operated. So unlike where in the past they've had movies in Netflix, Hulu. Right. Scattered across all the stuff. Yeah. This is going to be a centralized location for all. Disney media. All of Disney content. That's. PG-13 or lower. (laughs) Not necessarily. See, now, I was told that only PG-13 or lower would be allowed. Not necessarily. Hmm. Because they've been saying all Disney animation, all Disney live action, all 30 years of The Simpsons are going to be on there. Well, those technically, those, I guess, don't technically fall into the same categories, do they? No. I don't know. And so, I mean... I don't know. Simpsons can be a little controversial for family friendly. Right, right. So I, let's be let's be honest there. So until it actually comes out, I am willing to hold off on saying this is the age limit. I could see them doing something similar to Netflix where they say this account is Right. Everything. I would assume that they would do this something like is, that. Yeah. You know, under this age yeah. restriction. But uh, what I had heard and this is just again, this is one person talking to one official at Disney basically saying that, like, Touchstone Pictures stuff that's rated R wouldn't be there. 
basically. They're like, anything mm-hmm. that's rated R probably won't be there, is what I was told. And I'm sure they're still trying to figure out where the yeah. line is and mingling the different companies. Since this is a, you know, recent-ish yeah. acquisition, right. Disney Plus had been in the works prior to this acquisition it, yeah, being with finalized. Fox and, yeah. So they're are a number of things that can change, especially as the platform grows and is used and right. they figure out how, how people, people are utilizing right. it. Right, exactly. So should we break it down based on kind of the way it looks, just kind of the basic overview sure. of how it goes? So sure. I've seen a couple of screenshots of kind of what they're going for the beta mm-hmm. and the the way I'm seeing it is like you, like you said, it almost looks, to me it looks kind of like an Apple TV menu, but like kind of mixed like with the love child of a Apple TV menu and Netflix is kind of the vibe I got. I'm familiar with Netflix, so that's all I can yeah, speak to. What it, it doesn't like to look me. like Hulu. It doesn't look right. like HBO or Stars. It's right. definitely a Netflixy feel to me. Yeah. Easily navigatable. Yeah. Yeah. And so it, then they've kind of created it where they've kind of broken it under a couple of distinct headings. Yes. And and it kind of makes sense because of the fact they've got these acquisitions and you may not be looking for. Like, I might log in and maybe I'm looking for Star Wars that day and I I don't want to uh, see Marvel. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Whatever that day's feeling, it, they actually have it broken down by they're kind of the big franchises and yeah, big companies. Yeah, so they have the major banner header, which I'm sure we'll discuss the most recent yeah. coming outs on the platform. But then underneath there are five individual boxes. And you're right, it goes by... Uh, category right. or by studio question mark I, question mark yeah. maybe so the first one obviously is going to be Disney and one of the fun things about this because Disney can play with stupid things like this is they have <laughs> if you just kind of hold your mouse over the top of it it'll have a little animation behind the castle and all the fun things but Disney's one of them Pixar is another, and the little animation is the clouds of course Aww, it's so cute <laughs> uh, then they have Marvel which looks like the Marvel comic book sort the of thing, the flippy, thing, yep. flippy, flippy. Yep. And then Star Wars, right? where it looks like the galaxy in the background. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah. all pretty. Gotcha. And then National Geographic is I the fifth option for the I did not know top. that they had that until I, I saw the Disney Plus thing. I didn't know it was part of the thing. acquisition either. Yeah, that's, that's new and different. But it makes sense with one of the shows that I'm like super duper 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 excited about. <laughs> which one is that? Jeff Goldblum's. Oh, Jeff Goldblum, that's right. <laughs> So we'll get, there. we'll get there. Yeah, uh, we're we're gonna try and break down some of the things that they're gonna be offering to right. you by category, and by no means is this a complete list of all the content yes, that's gonna that be, be on impossible. this platform. <laughs> I mean, they're saying that they're gonna have all the Disney animated movies, all the Disney live action movies. You know, like I said, they talked about Simpsons. I don't even know what category Simpsons that would, would fall, fall under. under. National but, Geographic. No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm done. But, you know, they're they're going to have to have other subcategories yeah. and other stuff as well. But, oh, it was asked in the panel if Song of the South was going to be under there. Oh, somebody asked. Yes. And they did not know and kind of vaguely swung well, around on the it. question, classic <laughs> Disney fashion. We're just not going to answer that. Mm-hmm. That'll be just, yeah. But yeah. Disney is focusing on content originally and specifically for the Disney yes. Plus platform, right. separate from the Disney Channel itself, right. separate from the stuff that comes out from the studios to movie theaters. theaters. Which, which makes sense because it definitely follows a current trend where Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, they're doing these original shows and picking them up to be a digitally, digital only thing. Even CBS is doing it. So mm-hmm. definitely seems like it would be in line with Disney to, to try that. So the very first thing that they brought up, I'll go ahead and let you try and say it. Oh, man. <laughs> so <laughs> according to what we've seen, it's, well, so it's high, sc- high school musical... The musical, the series, yes. which I hate everything about that. And That's this is fine. this is essentially supposed to be like a series based around the school that High School Musical was originally supposedly done at, mm. and they decided that they were going to make a musical about High School Musical since that's the school that they're at, and it's a series around. It's just Ugh. convoluted and sounds super crazy. It, does sound it super feels crazy. like it's a way for them to try and S- bring back the IP. Yeah, because it was a very popular, popular IP. Absolutely. They had three movies. 
including actual theater release of one of them. Right. So here's a question. Mm -hmm. Is it then going to be a musical series? Mm-hmm. Oof. That... Like With I've struggled. new songs as well as old favorites. Oh god, that's just okay. Yeah, all right. Okay, so, I mean, moving on. Moving on moving because on. there's plenty of other stuff to go yeah, through. Yeah, absolutely. Um, another one which I'm kind of excited about, although this kind of falls a little bit more underneath the Pixar category. Yeah. Forky asks a question. <laughs> so these are supposed to be little shorts, and it's supposed to be Forky learning about the world. And so he asks individual little questions, and it looks hilarious <laughs> it's the same voice actor that did forky in the movie who, and who was the voice actor for forky? i don't know oh, i didn't okay. do the research why'd right. you have to call me out on that i'm in the sorry podcast? you know i i did all it this was, other research it was really only just me asking a question because i was curious but you know um, now i pointed it out so i'll pull okay. up my phone Hold on. <laughs> while he's out. doing that another big shocker that happened to <gasps> the disney sorry. series announcement that they were going to bring up was they're bringing back lizzie mcguire oh yeah i heard about but that. lizzie mcguire as a 30 year old oh. with the same 13 year old cartoon asking her what the heck she's doing it's tony hale by the way in case there you curious. go so that one was like a big surprise with hillary duff coming out yeah and- oh boy it is what it is. I never saw anything with Lizzie McGuire. Like, I know literally nothing about it as the show originally. Sorry, just a little side tangent. It was a little bit older generation, kid generation I, than I you know, were. I know, but, like, people that were my age still, like, saw it. True. So, I, I True. just didn't. I don't know. Some of the movies that you can anticipate that are going to be strictly Disney plus, plus originals for movies, The Lady and the Tramp live action. Right. So they had the animals come to the D23 Expo as well. So you could get to meet like Lady and Tramp. (laughs) Interesting thing I found out about, though, those animals that they were not used were not animal actors, but they were rescues. And one of the MCs ended up adopting one and brought one home after the Expo was done. So that's really sweet. Adopted a Disney dog. Yeah. Another one that's coming out is Noel. Hmm. I feel a little cringy on this one. It's supposed to be a Christmas movie, and this is Santa's daughter. What? And Santa has retired, and so his son, her brother, is supposed to take up the mantle, but he's having a stress out, so she tells him (laughs) to take a weekend off. And he doesn't come back. So she has to go and find him. This is a live action yeah. with someone that you're fairly familiar with as well. Is this the one that's... Okay. Is it? Is it Emma Stone? No. no. Oh, no. That Who? one you're talking about, Cruella. Cruella, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was Cruella. Um, but I feel like I saw something about this, though. Yeah. Noelle is... Um, let's spell it right. Mm-hmm. You would know the main woman from Pitch Perfect. She was the main actress Is it there. Anna Kendrick? Yes, correct. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. But she has to go rescue her brother from being a yoga instructor. <laughs> yes, that's what he does. He leaves the North Pole to become a yoga instructor. Okay. That's Sh- supposed to be the sure. movie. I mean, I'll give him credit that it's a new IP and it's never been done before. So, cool. Let's just... We'll leave it there. Next one. Cool. Uh, the Muppets are going to have a uh, feature in here. Yes. Muppets Now. It is going to be unscripted shorts. Okay. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. <laughs> Essentially, when they were <laughs> trying to present this, it was Kermit trying to talk about it and a puppet lawyer telling him, no, you can't say that yet. No, you can't do that yet. And a banter back and forth. But it is an unscripted short. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Okay, so it's like a series of shorts? Like, it's like... Depending on how well it goes, okay. possibly. Okay. We shall see. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm all about Muppets, so, like, whatever. Yes, it's you fine. are. I'm, I'll, I'll let's see what happens. Heading back into the Pixar genre, we had already yes. talked about Forky a little bit. Yeah. They are also going to be doing a series that is Monsters at Work. <laughs> and honestly, this one sounds a little cute. So this is supposed to be Mike and Sully. They're trying to be mentors. But you follow these two main characters that come out of Monsters U with their degree in screams. Like one of them's like the top 
head of class. Okay. And he starts the job the day after they change from screams to, to laughter. Laughs. Oh, I love it. That's actually And so good. they're trying to figure out, well, I was like <laughs> summa cum laude of like screams. What am I supposed to do, do now? now? Right, right. <laughs> and he was hired under that guise too, but then they changed, changed it. it. Yeah. So it sounds like it's pretty interesting if you're a fan of monsters, uh, the monster series, all of that. They are bringing back the original voice actors there as well so it's gonna be the people that you know sweet Mm -hmm. that's a good movie moving on to let's go to a different ip why don't we go to marvel because marvel is going to be a huge one of course so not only we've heard a number of them the loki series is coming out falcon and the winter soldier wandavision um can we stop on wandavision for a second okay that's that's Scarlet Witch, right? Correct. And who else is in it? Vision. Vi- <laughs> okay, you know, Wanda is Scarlet Witch's real name. So what it is Vision. Okay. It, Wanda Vision. All right. Well, uh... <laughs> So it's supposed to be their relationship. Wow. And the little preview that they did had almost like a 1950s housewifey feel. Weird. But it worked with it. So I'm interested to see how they're going to do this. Did, is do, do they have any time period placed for it? <laughs> okay, anyway, sorry. That's a separate she, thing. He got me while my mouth was full. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, but we'll enough. just have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, a couple of new things that were announced in the Marvel Universe strictly for this. The What If series, which talks about... It's like a prism of time where if this didn't happen then what would the turn of events be oh okay almost think like dr strange with his medallion where he was going through all the possibilities but like going back to where if captain america the bomb went off and it did kill him you know all of a sudden peggy would become captain america oh wow you know how the world would change from there like fractal universes correct okay okay so that's the what if series Ms. Marvel is going to be coming out, and that is one where, I mean, a lot of these ones coming up, the ones that had just been announced, unless you are super nerdy into comics, which, I mean, I read them a little bit, but I haven't a lot since I was a kid. That's what I normally rely on other people for. Yeah. I'm not as familiar with it, but definitely look into it. Or if you already know it, you know, get your excited on because this is going to be cool. Sweet. So Ms. Marvel's coming out. Moon Knight. I don't know anything about that. And I think that's the one that's going to be having Kit from Game of Thrones is going to be in. Oh, Kit Harrington? Yeah. Oh, so cool. he's supposed to be in one of the new Marvel series coming out. That's the rumor. Ooh. And so I think that's the one where they're fitting him into. Okay. And then the cool. last one is She-Hulk, which makes cool. me super excited because I that's understand cool. that one. That's but cool. We're not going to talk about that one because no spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. Um, when we get to the Star Wars universe. Yes. Oh, well, of course, Mandalorian mm-hmm. is is a big one that everyone's... And I think they've got a trailer out for it. A, a little, little teaser one. one. Yeah. But I haven't seen it because... I don't, I don't know, I've been busy. I don't, I don't know, I just haven't seen well, it yet. Well, and they've been talking about it for a while. We knew that it was coming up and it was yeah. anticipated. Yeah. The new big one coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ewan R- McGregor is reprising back. his role as Obi-Wan for a series. Which, which kind of makes sense because you come in, obviously, like, everyone wanted him to come back to be yes. Obi-Wan. And two... In terms of my understanding of the time period that it takes place, which I could be wrong here, my understanding is it takes place between the events of the main series and the so pre- three and, and four. And, yeah, in between three, three and, four? and four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I, I I could be wrong about that. Again, it's another one that we'll have to see. But and yeah. then the other big announcement for Star Wars was they are going to be bringing back Clone Wars, not just all the past episodes, but finally wrapping it up because it kind of stopped in a. Awkward, awkward way place. so they're gonna add at least one more season to be able to, to at least wrap it up and have the whole thing yeah completed give a full story okay um couple different additions that were brought up they're gonna be doing an imagineering documentary i saw some of the stuff for that it seems cool which looks kind of cool but most people who aren't behind the scenes nerds might not be as like interested in it 
we are. Yeah. So we'll probably watch it. Sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh goodness, they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing a series. I want him to say this. They're going to do a series called Be Our Chef. And is that like a is it, is it a cooking competition? I think so. Oh, it's man. A game show is what they're uh, calling, calling it, it as. Great. But, um. Be our chef. Yeah. Be Our Chef. You know, it's kind of amazing no one's done that before. I'm sure Disney probably sued like, them into the ground yes. if they tried. Anyway, yeah. Copyright stuff. Oh, fun. Um, there's going to be a show called Encore with Kristen Bell. Aw. Well, it's Kristen Bell, so I'll probably just have to watch it anyway. Probably. And then, as we had mentioned before... <laughs> World According to Jeff Goldblum. We're so excited <laughs> for that one. That'll be fun. I can see that one being under, like, the Nat Geo category. So what... I don't know all the details of that one. Does he go places and do He's, stuff? I, I heard things about him, you know, learning about tattoos, learning about this, oh. learning about that. So it's basically like Jeff Goldblum, like, tackling a subject? Kind of, yeah. Oh, that's kind of, that so, actually sounds awesome. The world according to Jeff Goldblum being all Jeff Goldblum. Okay. Oh, man, that's going to be weird. I'm excited, <laughs> oh, though. That's, that's worth the money in and of in itself. itself. Like, you'd pay <laughs> six, whatever it is. What what are they saying now? So, so since we're talking about price, let's get pricing. into it here. Sure. If you want to go by month, month to month, which... Honestly, in comparison to the other it's, yeah, streaming surprising. services, it's super affordable. Yeah. So if you're going month by month, it is six ninety nine. Okay. It's so less than a McDonald's meal. Right. <laughs> okay. Let's and be honest. Then for if you want to buy it for the whole year, it's well they say sixty nine ninety nine, so seventy bucks for mm-hmm. The whole year, which is again really not bad, mm-hmm. and uh, and then until uh, September second, which is why we're bringing this one up first yeah. in comparison to the other D twenty three episode, which is coming out next week. Yeah. They are doing a D twenty three gold membership discount where they are giving twenty three dollars off every year for three years. Now you do have to buy all three years up and up you front. know up right. front, but it's. It was one hundred and fifty-one dollars for me, which is what like two years, three years. It's like a, you basically bought two years and got the third year for free. Exactly, or? that's pretty cool. And the thing about this package too, or this streaming service, is the amount of accounts that you can have and the amount of. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of it's really ridiculous. not bad. So my so I, I've read conflicting information, but I think you, we've settled on what the ones that you found. It was you can have. 10 devices registered to the account at a time with mm-hmm. five concurrent streams mm-hmm. and seven independent profiles with their own algorithm and everything like Netflix. So, I mean, if you have a bigger family mm-hmm. and little kids want to be on their tablets while they are supposed to be going to bed or whatever, right. I don't care. Right. But you can have other people watching different shows and not interrupt each other, which yeah. I think is that's, phenomenal. That's pretty awesome. It's really an amazing yeah. feature to this. It seems like they've really looked around at all of the different services and kind of cherry picked the things they liked about the most about each of them. Mm-hmm. So I'm really excited to see kind of what this is going to look like. And so if you're yeah. a D23 member, definitely take advantage of the discount. Like I said, it's $151 for all three years. That's 50 bucks for the entire year, which is ridiculous because yeah. that's less than five dollars a month that's super good <laughs> literally super good and for 10 devices yeah <laughs> to yeah have this stuff. shocking so do it yeah. you only have until september 2nd again just one more reiteration there now one other tech thing we were going to bring up before we wrapped this up was a new app that they are going to be using coming out with at the end of 2020 so it is more than a year away now they are still in development right but this app is called disney genie yes with the image of aladdin's genie Genie. right it's it's a fascinating concept uh instead of having the existing and if you're if you're familiar with traveling to walt disney world specifically they've got the the Thank you, studio audience. The, the studio audience. <laughs> By the way, we're recorded in front of a this live studio, studio audience. audience. <laughs> Say hi, Chad. Hello. There he is. <laughs> so, so the the Disney Genie is kind of like if you're used to the the park uh, apps that we've had, especially the yeah, Disney my park Disney experience. experience app. Yeah, the classic operation. Their their thinking is we're already trying to use different services to plan everything mm-hmm. and build all this stuff out. 
they're thinking the Disney genie is basically just like an AI assistant. Yeah. That it, it should get rid of the need to research and like plan down to the detail, which right. is something you and I appreciate. Appreciate, right. But a lot of people don't. Don't, right. And so the idea here is even if you're like, so if you're a person that doesn't really care, just wants to run to the park and start doing stuff, mm-hmm. it can sk- help schedule your day just based on the stuff you want to see then. But if you and want availability and availability and the other algorithms that go along with right. it, it's basically supposed to be like a travel planner in your pocket. Right, right. For like while you're there, it's kind of the thing that handles all that stuff, which is interesting. But even outside of when you're right there, right. it'll cover it when you, you know, say you want to go on a trip and you're like, hmm, I want, I have a little girl and we're going to be really princess focused. So right. let's plan princess day for this day. Right. And we're going to go to this park and it'll right. come up with all the princessy all things the princessy that you can stuff. do. Yeah. Right. So we don't know a lot of the functionality of what it's going to do mm-hmm. entirely. Uh, it's still pretty early in stages, so we don't yes. know to what degree it's going to be able to do stuff. Um, I suspect that a lot of what it's going to be able to do is it's going to be able to cut down on awkward wait times um, in the park, which mm-hmm. I think is cool. The fact that they kind of realize that you can't go into Disney without a plan. Yes. So having the app available to people who just want to go in for a day and go, I don't know, and push the button and mm-hmm. they can actually have a day and it'll guide them through the experience is it, really neat. Yeah. It'll make fast passes for you. It'll make reservations for yeah. you. It'll be able to, like you said, change the algorithm to fit what you are wanting to do for that day and all you need to do is give it a couple of directions right right so i think it could really create a an improved experience for those people who are not used to planning and dealing with what Mm -hmm. it means to make a disney vacation so i still and i think that it does they did kind of say that people that are seasoned experts too and planners and stuff will also like it because of other more advanced functionality but we'll probably revisit that when it gets closer yeah. so and they also don't know if it's going to be a free app yet or if there's going to be an additional cost attached to it, it. Okay. for the service because essentially that's what it's doing i mean it's going to be taking a lot of the hopefully headache out of your disney planning so right. that'll right. probably have a little bit of a price tag attached yes potentially so be very interesting we will definitely talk about it again i'm sure before or when it's when it's launched or right before it's launched so but we definitely wanted to bring it up since yeah. we we're bringing up you know technology Te- yeah, and things that are coming stuff out, they're so. pushing out yeah, yeah. cool so, wow. that is our digital area of d23 <laughs> coverage and next week we are going to be going over on the, the park side specifically, specifically epcot so that'll be kind of fun to uh so to look at. if you haven't heard anything there are a lot of changes coming up so pay attention next week and you will hear all about it Sounds good. On that note, this has been WD Carousel of Podcast. My name's Crystal. And I'm Ian. And we hope you have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Beautiful tomorrow. Just a dream away.